Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live! Red Dead Redemption playthrough. Ooh. One of the first games that was ever played on this show, and it didn't include Becky. This was at pre-live days that we did our first look at Red Dead Redemption, and then the famous video, Diplomatic Immunity, which um, really, I think, kicked off the show and what its feel was going to be <laughs> as we went into the future. Um, so, Becky hasn't even played, she hasn't even seen the story. And she tends to like Grand Theft Auto stories quite a mm. bit. I know... The ending. Yeah. She does know the ending because this game's story and the fate of the characters within it had such a profound effect on me, I couldn't help but share it with Becky when I first played it. Mm -hmm. This is back in the day where I was playing alone and this game had more of an effect on me than any other video game I think out there in terms of emotional value and just how heavy the story was for me. Mm -hmm. um, it meant a lot to me. <laughs> Did Frash cry? Did Frash cry? Frashes don't cry. Especially when it comes to fictional media. <laughs> I'm so strong-willed. Alright, let's jump in. I'm gonna save, of course. Create a new save. Alright. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. Yeah. So we're back on the PlayStation 3 after a long time. Last time we did this was for Kingdom Farts. Whoa. Um, yes. We have to decide on horsey. Do you guys want this uh, horsey? Or do you want this horsey? Oh. So, horsey so cute. A, uh -huh. or the slightly more stubby horsey B. Horsey A, or... Whoa, that's pretty split. We're gonna need a straw pole. We're gonna need a straw pole, guys. Don't make me choose. After this scene, we'll decide. You guys start a straw pole. I'll leave it to a mod, I think, or whoever comes up with the first one. I don't know. So the first mission is Exodus in America. I actually had to download this digitally because I can't find my copy of Red Dead except for the three copies that I have on Xbox 360 when I bought them for like 10 bucks a piece because um, I thought that we would do a four-player thing one time. I know that died in a horrible death and I don't apologize. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, there's your straw poll. Decide between Thanks, horsey Cryo. A and B. Here's A for you again. A. B. I wonder how these graphics are going to hold up for me. My mind's eye, of course, makes them perfect. <gasps> Marston! The aliasing. Yeah, that's one thing that they definitely didn't care about back then. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Very few games cared at all about aliasing back in the day. Who's, who's is that? Some rich man. You don't see a lot of vehicles. Or maybe even any at all. Oh, he's being escorted. I forgot. Horsey A. I think this is us in Blackwood. Right now, this is black, black water. We won't see this town for a little while into the game after the initial encounter here. All right, I'm gonna go with Horsey B then. Here we go, Horsey B, Nova Stars. The previous one was Alamus. Thank you to both of you guys for putting that together. Thank you guys. So they put him on a train. So none of this meant anything to me the first time we played. It was just like, what's going on? Oh my god, I'm so excited for the next game. Yeah. Fuck. Did we choose the right horsey? We yep. did, right? Yep. When the time comes, you better run and don't look back. This is over. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. That's what they said. But, Father, 
Yes, today's episode is sponsored by this long haul. Dissy! Hardly seems fair. What I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals. But they're happier now. It's everybody's favorite topic right now. <laughs> the savages. Yeah. Does everybody thank Dissy for the cowboy pig? You'll be seeing that sponsorship Not jump up every so often. Not only have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly. Was that Bonnie? No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> yes. I hardly think so, Jenny. Bonnie just walked by, and we don't even know who she Mr. is at this point. Johns point. wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. I don't there recall the name Johns. Money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. These old biddies. What you must remember, my dear, is that Johns we have come been up. brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. That's Bonnie. It is the opportunity yep. we have. The Bonnie's chance the best. to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. Oh, sometimes. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Why are they letting us sit by ourselves? We're not under arrest. You'll find out later. Oh, okay. I thought that the people in the train were gonna become big characters later on. Oh yeah. The, but you don't really see those people again. Except for Bonnie. All right, I'm just gonna turn on some titles. Is the nostalgia hitting you, Frash? I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I've never been so excited for a playthrough, I don't think. Really? Nice. I've been waiting for this one I haven't touched it since I last beat it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the graphics aren't horrible. I wonder how um, how uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 would hold up these days. Because when I was looking at footage of us when we were playing Grand Theft Auto 3, it was like, oh my god, holy fuck, that's horrible. But of course that was PlayStation 2, right? But... Um, Besides the aliasing and the resolution making it look a little bit blurry, this feels like it's on par with, like, close to being on par with a lot of the games, sadly, looks, these days. It looks like it's a stylized type of game. Not bad for seven years? He played this on Xbox One and it looks really good, aged very well. GTA 4 holds up well for you. Oh yeah, he's drunk. He uses his hands to walk through those. Mr. Marvin, over here. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friend from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Uh, 
forgot all about Jake. You ain't gonna find sturdier horses than these in all of New Orleans. Is that right? Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rope. Bye. Goodbye. Fort Mercer. Oh my god, I'm rediscovering this whole game. I don't even remember. so early. Let's go. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Martin? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Grand. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I don't I'm take Jake man, for uh connoisseur <laughs> yeah <laughs> ain't we all are you jake or are you not it's a simple question yeah that's pretty oh it was the marshal who hired me lee johnson do you know him i think i heard his name says he got a telegram from some blackwater big bugs asking for a guy i guess it's none of my business that's right The voice acting is so friggin' good. Like all Rockstar games. Yep. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Martin, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> if you Come hold down X, you can match Jake's speed. Uh, I remember there was something like that. Thanks. It's difficult matching speed with somebody. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> oh, Jake. <laughs> You trope. Has Marston's yeah. voice actor, actor done anything? No, he disappeared. Sense? Yeah, I thought I remember. They did a documentary that. on him. Yeah. How he, it was his first job acting and his last. And he doesn't care. It's so, he's so good. But we'll know. I, I like, I mean, if they got him to come back in any capacity for the next game mm -hmm. as an earlier version of himself. I hope that Rockstar kept it secret and they were yeah. able to keep him off the IMDb somehow. Yeah. Come on, easy up now. Go away now, Joan. 
Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? So Bill, all these please. characters in because you're want to kill almost all. definitely going to see you. all of them in the next game. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jim. Shit. It's not fair, I don't have my dead eye yet. You are shot. The end. Wow. Oh. Guys, was Bill in the trailer for Red Dead 2? I know Dutch was. I just don't recall whether Bill appeared or not. He wasn't in the trailer? Okay. Man, Bonnie's outfit. I analyzed the shit out of that. Her pants remind me of Pokey. Gumby? Or I guess I Gumby. Don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, he'll definitely be in the game. If it's about Dutch's game and it's about the past of Marston, he's definitely gonna be in it. That government boy. How did I just earn that? I mean I played the whole game on here. It's not reading my save, but trophies are supposed to be read across accounts. It's kinda weird. Huh. Oh, it's raining out. I love that sound. Do you think that it was added? Mm. Mm. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. For the so, how mean? do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh. I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Shit. I'm sorry, madam. Should've left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those Penny Dreadfuls my brother used to read. Penny Dreadfuls? Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. Yeah, I could use you a tutorial. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. 
course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. I gotta work on leveling up and getting some dead eye. Then I'll take out Bill. Is that how you do it? Marston was a little bit silly. I mean, it's one thing to go and give him a chance by standing at the gates, but Marston technically was the one who drew his gun. He should have known, like, he should have been like, all right, Bill, I'll be back to yeah. get you later or something, but Marston, it's... Maybe he was reaching to get a cigarette. He clearly grabbed his gun. <laughs> but it's kind of weird because we know that Marston's motivation here is to protect his family. So it's odd that he'd go off and so readily get himself killed hmm. and be such a bad surveyor of that particular situation he was in. That's equivalent to $400 today? Surprised not more. Yeah, they said, what a deal. But they're also ranch owners. Oh yeah, I remember this derp run. <laughs> oh no, he's got a poo. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I fucking love this game. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. That run is amazing. It is. I'll be doing a lot, don't worry. <laughs> and no flushing toilets yet. There's the yeah. foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Pop on up. He won't bite. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. I played this. Did you? Yes. I was oh, like, yeah, this I is all this super part. familiar. Yeah, yeah, I did ask you if you'd be interested in playing. Yeah. You kind of derped around with it a bit. Yeah. I was wondering how I had seen this because in the playthrough, you didn't actually go through it all, right? To your uh -huh. right is the general store. Yeah. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like Whoa, yourself. Marston. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. They have their own train station in this ranch. Yeah. I suddenly don't feel so bad about the 15 bucks. Yeah, right? And its own general store. And its own golden corral. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for Whoops. a while before we head out on patrol. You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. I have a gold gun. Does that mean like this is like it, the game knows that I've played through before? Because you're not supposed to have a gold gun, are you? It was DLC that oh. was added in a patch. Oh, that's weird. I'd rather not have it. It's kind of distracting. Well, are we going inside? <laughs> um. It's DLC, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it is. Can I take it away? You can turn it off. Good. How oh. do I do that? Oh, you can put in a cheat code to get rid of it? How do you got it? How do you do that? I hate it. <laughs> look at look at me no, go. Oh my god, yes. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Some of these shots feel like they come right out of Lonesome Dove. Oh, yeah? 
can never watch one. This now. particular ranch. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. I think Bonnie's sweet on us. Hells yeah, she is. We best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. It's the best gun that I have right now. Fucking love the repeater carbine. Yeah. I want this one. Guys, when you look at this game, it just like it's gonna make me even harder on Let's modern go. games again. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot. Again. Outside of like, it lacks a bit of shiny, and the aliasing is horrible, like all games back then. You take that away, this game Thank looks you, ten times better than so many fucking games these days. <laughs> I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Turn off golden guns on PS3. Hold all of the following for five seconds. R1, L1. Okay, I'll do that once we're done this scene. Okay. Tell me again later. Thanks, guys. I love that you start by shooting rabbits. Come on, then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Look at him. Nice shooting. Good shot. Aww. You got one. You're better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. <laughs> Woo. Celebration jump. Good on Marston. Much obliged <laughs> for the help. Them rabbits can what be wily fuck? little critters. Let's mount up and patrol the rest no, of the property. Funny. You have what? to pick them up. We'll get them later. A okay. Hired hand, they'll get them. Okay. Did you know it's illegal to sell rabbits but now? Let's get going. In Canada? We still got Good. plenty of ground to cover. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Cross. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move <laughs> to a big city, become a lady of leisure. I don't yeah. think Coyotes. that's her style. Yeah, before they get to the animals. Yeah. We'll get him. We'll get him. She moves fast. Come on. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. Why are we yelling? <laughs> have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. It's only unfortunate that they never released this on PC because it would be amazing to play this with updated graphics. Yeah. As good as it looks, it could look a lot better. And it's simple things like just simply upping the resolution hey, and putting in some anti-aliasing that would fix happy. it. I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. You can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Everybody's ports to PC are less than stellar, though. <laughs> and that's why you have to rely on the fans to kind of fix them. One of three. Fame's going up. 
for killing those rabbits and coyotes. You hear about that guy a ranch over? Killed a couple coyotes, I hear. Oh, should we put his picture up on the wall? Not till it gets a bit more fame. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to just save here. All right. And then, yeah, I'll do the um, thing you guys are talking about there. Uh, so what's the buttons I press to get rid of golden guns? It's weird that a cheat code was added. Turn off golden guns. Hold all the following for five seconds. R1, L1, left button on the D-pad, circle and triangle. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Thank you so much. The gold disappeared. I've been hearing about this midway that has dancing Indians. Mighty queer. Mighty queer. It's so funny that, like, like, Marston, I could go on a killing spree on her ranch right now. Just kill everybody here, and Bonnie wouldn't act any different. Really? <laughs> That's one of the problems with Rockstar Games, is what a delinquent you can be and how it doesn't always jive quite right with uh, with the character's narrative and who you are and how people interact with you. Are fame and honor two things you can get in this? Two different things you yes. can get in this? What's the difference between well, those? Well, honor can go into the negative, I think, and fame, I forget exactly what they do for you. They'll eventually give you benefits. Yeah. So, oh, go to Bonnie, because Bonnie has a new mission. Honor is more like karma, if I recall correctly. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? Oh, yes. I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I like how Marston doesn't seem like a good guy at all. He <laughs> feels like a bad right, guy I'll who's playing at being good. Trying it on for size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> that was amazing. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Mr. Ah. Why are you cheating? Because we're beating you. This is meant to be for people who have not yet ridden and like, like played the game, so it's a little bit easy. I remember kind of failing this. Um, though, I was the first gonna time. say I remember failing it when I played it. Yeah. Yeah. Water looks nice. Work. Come. Would you like me to slow down? 
You can tell Rockstar was proud of their horses. They wanted to make this an early mission. Yeah, and good on them. Like, that's friggin' smart. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Should I wait for you to catch up? Music and sound design in this game is really, really good. Come on. And I know I haven't even heard the half of it. Obviously, we just started, but let's go. I cannot believe the Rockstar didn't remaster and update this. It would have been such an easy cash in. Yeah. Right before Red Dead 2, people would be buying the shit out of that. Uh-huh. Damn, you kicked her ass, yo. Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Wilson. Martin's like, whatever. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarlane. <laughs> he seems kind whatever of... Whatever you think's best, Mr. Martin. Passive-aggressive. permiso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marshall Johnson is available to you in Armadillo. Travel to the M on your map. Unless we want to talk to Bonnie again. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat. Come on. Huh. Red Dead is the 30th best-selling game on the PS3. Wow, how did it in it? How, what 29 go. games beat it? Keep Paul waiting. That is an interesting fact. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. Probably Madden, like, 7 through 20. <laughs> so just tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. That. Admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Damn. Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Uh. I'm being enigmatic. <laughs> I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Their banter is so good. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Last of Us was up there. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Did 
driving, Miss McFarland. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your Why? day of hunting Look at his face. I guess. Raise but chicken? like... Only been at it three years or so. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me. So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Put that down. Sorry. Kind of fell laboring under the delusion that age brings uh, wisdom. Sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. What did he say about his uncle? It's not really his uncle. And what uh, about him? What made her say sounds like the perfect person? I was... You were shooting a bird, so I got distracted. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd shoot that bird. He's lazy as a lizard on a hot day, right? So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Yeah. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Thanks, Mommy. Yeah, really. I'll be nice to whoever I want to be nice to, which is everyone, but... How would Armadillo get by without me? I don't know how to put this away. What? <laughs> that ain't it. There we go. Howdy. Hi there. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Oh. What are apples for? Howdy. It's to keep the doctor away. Ah, for her stamina. Oh, I have no money. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills? All of it. Thank you. Damn it. Of course, I was the man they turned to after all the glass rampage. There's my satchel. Oh yeah, you can get different. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Did you play it this quickly when you played it on your own? Okay. Um... No, I'm just trying to move things along a little bit. Plus, I know that if you do the story right away here, like, you get some things unlocked that you might need. Gotcha. Right away. So if you go up to these gun icons... I'm sorry. Well, protecting yourself, it's the American way. Ah. Hello, sir. You surely won't regret a purchase. Thanks. <laughs> the marshal ain't no man in my eyes. Remember to return. So we, did we rent a gun? What was that? What did you just do? I did nothing. Oh, okay. I got, I'm going to go talk to the marshal because I think I'll get my first cash when I play, when I um, do his mission. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. 
Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You the one of Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting kicked with me, boy? What's going on here? I love this guy. I got me one of them Williamson boys. <laughs> I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. Oh, the eye. <laughs> you must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. The one that only takes two minutes to ride, Bill too. Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. Hold I recognize his voice so much. Mr. And I'm here doing what I can. And I feel like well, in the past I actually found out who he was. Right now? Looking I got the up. railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. Sounds That's like a bunch of jobs for a rock star There's protagonist. Yeah, a couple more days. Yes. There'll be more. <laughs> All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? I prefer Only cunt, things sir. Matter. He gets to hear so much awesome shit. I bet. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Man, how come I don't get offered whiskey when I go to the police department? Who are we looking for? You certainly don't. You get asked to leave. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Vancouver police are not friendly. This this dumb rat we'll meet now. that guy later. Oh. Oh, so right now? Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Oh, he's not who I thought he was. Never mind. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. <laughs> The voice actor for him apparently did a lot of acting for Western series. Yeah, I remember finding that out. Oh my god, yes. 
Bones as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walm's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walm's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Ooh, now. He's in Bullet Storm. Well. at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. That music was really good. Just the bass. Looks like we got company, boys! God damn it, Marshall. You're not good. <laughs> damn. Take cover! <laughs> Have you ever done a stealth mission? <laughs> we'll work our way up this hill. Dude, you've given us the low ground, too. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. R1 to exit cover. Carson, take that bastard behind the tree. Damn. You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Watch out for that bastard behind the rock. I like the indicator. You ain't that tough, Walton. Bolt cover. Oops. Just a bunch of women playing out. What are you waiting for? Unload that thing. Clicking down on the left thumbstick crouches you. Aren't we crouched right now? You boys just ain't that tough. Ah, I see what they're saying. Out of cover, okay. I'll just listen to the tutorial in the game. Yeah. Who's that woman you brought with you, Marshal? Yeah! Why is the Marshal just shooting a dead body over and over? I remember there's multiple ways <laughs> to finish the game. Not a bad shot, Mr. Oh, yeah. Finish missions. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? You get extra reward for doing it proper. Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend, I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Damn! Voice acting is so good. Yeah! Yeah! I think it's more money that I get for doing it right. Mm. But I can't rightly recall. Your honor goes up as you're looting. <laughs> That's funny. Positively, if you have one honorable people act. Okay. Where's that going on? Okay, I'm just trying to vault cover, because I didn't remember how to do that. Marshall left you a long way from civilization, you can tr quickly travel back. Okay. Hmm.
Wait a minute, maybe it's... I don't know how to vault. Do you guys know how to vault? It had something to do with R1 and, uh, or like maybe it was L. L? It was R1 while pushing the left stick towards, if yeah, I remember right. it's kind of weird. It's not doing it. Is that too high? Or is that silly? Maybe that's not a vault object. I think you can vault over in the middle if you want to try those ones. All right. Let's go get all my money. You guys think squares? My apologies, mister. Armadillo running around. I saw him. I only remember seeing dead armadillos whenever I was in Texas. That's sad. On the side of the street. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That oink just saved your life, little buddy. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oink. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was... Which was the stuff that I could be vaulted? This? Uh, I think so. Okay. It's weird, it just gets me out. You guys think square. Square jumps up on it? I don't know. It probably won't be that... Come up that often, but... L2 is to aim over the object. Yeah, I know that. There it goes, a square. I don't remember reading square when they were teaching. All right. Come on, horsey. I know how to vault now. Oh, wait. I should probably just fast travel. Mm, yeah. You'll find your way back, horse. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Do you build a campfire? Or do you just straight up? I don't remember exactly how this goes. Uh, this is armadillo. And then you, oh yeah, you can go to the Yeah, you gotta make a fire, remember? Okay, so how do I make a fire? You can do it at any time in the wilderness? I don't know. Select to campfire? Ah, basic campfire. Yeah, there you go, it's so silly. I remember running out of town so I could make a fire, so I could fast travel. Really? anymore? Mm -hmm. You can finish it if you would like. Hmm. Yeah, you need a fire. He's got to. You, he's got to build a fire so he can teleport. <laughs> it's not for heat or for cooking anything. Ah, uh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We'll wait till morning, then we'll go do another Bonnie mission. That is how people got around in the Old West. It didn't go to, oh wait, do I have to specifically say progress time? I think there is play it. How do you progress time? It's only letting me save. Oh, oh there we go. Why didn't it progress time earlier? That's weird. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody told him he was going to meet at sunup. <laughs> But the other person didn't show up, so he just stayed in there. Resetting time moves at six hours. Oh, okay. Advances at six hours. You went to sleep too early. Here we go. Women and cattle. I can't figure either one out. 
Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. She's your Set biggest fan, after all. Build a life for mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? You're hard on me, She's Bonnie. She's so Please interested. Oh, my God. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. You can call me Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. Man, once you break the seal on Marston, he, and he just spills the whole thing. He done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Damn, guys. <laughs> yeah. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Lost my virginity at yeah, 12. The gang taught me how to <laughs> yeah. read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Ah, I said too much, Bonnie. <laughs> well, this is an exposition patio. So do yeah. I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure, point me in the right direction. One's right there. You're not gonna get much herding done without a horse. <laughs> right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Control that horse, will ya? Bonnie. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. How are you, Miss McFarland? <laughs> it's a power Easy play now. for her. Not responding. You should Damn. learn to ride before you learn to herd. Get behind the herd. That should start the movement in the right direction. Assuming they aren't put off by your smell. Can we really call this a herd? Yeah. Uh, sure. Make her feel good, dude. 
Welcome back to Fresh as fucking fun. Oh, she wants me to. The X isn't the destination. Come on, the, boy. Uh, yes. Stay behind on Mr. Marston. Nice job, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Famous Bravo. around here. Drive them down the road, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Go. I see you. I heard that too. Get right at them. Drive them this way. Come on. Get the fuck. You guys move as one. It's a beautiful thing. Come on. Keep going, Mr. Boston. All right, let's get <laughs> our turn out to the far pasture. Ew, weird. Is this similar to farming life in Elmo Fraser? <laughs> you! Oh, you! They do move in herds. I think this becomes a mini game later. Like you can do optional You're not herding. The herd. Her. Prevention might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Let's get it. I love like now I could just shoot all these guys that helped me. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> and Bonnie won't care. Nope. Come on! On horses? Okay. I guess uh, maybe I'll go do a martial thing now. Kind of go back and forth between the two. <laughs> do it. Kill them all. Now. First time I did this mission, half of the cattle fell off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Head on back to Armadillo. What do you mean by play style? You mean like outlaw or do gooder? Yes. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Oh. What's going on over here? There's an exclamation mark. What are you waiting for? Climb aboard! Okay. Why is it marked with an exclamation mark? Forgive me, mister! No! no! Will you tell it? That's my wagon, see? I wish life I'll was see you well. at the end of a rope for this! Uh-oh. It was not my intention. So much cover! Just a little prank, bro. <laughs> Why did that happen? You're on the wrong side. That was the driver's oh side. Oh my god. The, you took for fucking ever, horse. Yeah, man. You gotta that work on that. That was bullshit. That really uh, escalated quickly. Yeah, it did. Now my horse is bucking me off. You know what? Just arrest me, guys. That's fine. You can arrest me. Arrest me. <laughs> what? 
Well, that was bullshit. Uh, I accidentally pressed triangle on the wrong side of a stagecoach. Yeah, you can do that, dude. So... Um... Why did the stagecoach even have an exclamation mark? It was as though it was a mission. Yeah, I don't know. Why would an exclamation fast mark travel indicate to certain fast areas. travel? Why wouldn't it just be a wagon wheel? I don't remember. I thought exclamation marks always meant side missions. Friggin' hell. Let's go watch a movie. Okay. Sorry, mister. I wonder if those really were the sounds of the old quest. Damn! Are those guys good or bad? That doesn't seem like a good person thing to do. I don't remember what those gangs mean. Do you get rewarded for shooting them? Those are bandits. Shoot them. Okay. Watch a movie. Two bits. Your gun was out. Is that why? And so even though it says watch movie two dollars, I can't do it. Oh, because the guy ran away. Because the guy ran away. Because I'll I had, be back. Uh, I just don't like doing missions at night. Yeah. So I want to progress time. What's this guy want? Oh, oh, talk to the woman. Uh. Oh, they took my boy. My boy. Who okay. did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Oh. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. I'm forgetting what that strangers found throughout the world have simple tasks to carry out. These tasks can be started, continued, and completed at any time. Um, how far away is it? Oh, what's this? A wanted poster. Is this Hanging Rock? American Appetite. <gasps> <laughs> um, how do you get to quests? Maybe a journal? Strange fa okay. Oh, I didn't know it did this. Oh, interesting. The purple is the side mission. The purple circle circles indicate quests that you've unlocked. Okay. Yeah. Horse. Horse! He's coming. Jesus. Not you, dog. I just don't see Hanging Rock. Is this Hanging Rock? It's not mentioned. Oh, hanging there it is. Rock. There's Hanging Rock. Like an ambush. Yeah. This 
doesn't feel right. Chances to go. Can you climb, Marston? I don't think you can. Shit. All right, get back. So the indicator will only show you spots using the road, but won't let you. I have to use my map to kind of gauge where I'm going. So I have to turn a little bit left. And you can't set the waypoint? I could, but it'll only show the road, I think. Oh, yeah. Once it's off-road, you have to figure it out. Okay. Climbing was a modern day invention. I like how, as a player, you don't know what the fuck that means right now. Yeah. Well, mystery solved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to Armadiller. I recall when I played, I barely ever fast traveled. I would take every opportunity to just ride somewhere. Yeah. Slowly. Hunt animals along the way. What does hunting animals do for you? You get skins and then you can craft items. Maybe one of the first games I played where crafting was a thing. Oh, nice. Let's go. So how do you know that that's all you have to do? It said head back to town. Okay. But, um... Ghost lady. Yeah, I just don't understand. I don't know where I was supposed to go. I could go pay my bounty because I'm a wanted man right now, for fuck's sake. So like the higher wanted rate you have, the more likely people are to hunt you down. Mm. Right now the cops aren't after me, but um, my bounty is actually probably a livable thing right now. What? What? How do I finish that mission? Gonna have a showdown. Oh. Prospect of dying certainly focuses the mind, doesn't it? You should keep your opinions to the yourself. The only way out now. for you is down, son. Six feet down. We're gonna duel right now. Tobias. I'm not sure, I can't remember the exact, um, the intricacies to it. I used to, like, do these duels. I went around and, of course, I did everything in the game. So mm -hmm. I went and I found, like, even the most challenging ones. And it has to do with how you move your right hand, how slowly you move it, and... Bonnie, save us! <laughs> Oh, shit. How do I even travel there quickly? I don't even remember where the stagecoach is. Stagecoach isn't indicated on the map right now. I think it's over here by the train, train station. station, I think? Yeah, it's just... Weird that it's not showing up on my map. Oh, until you get really close. That's really helpful. <laughs> like, it's as soon as I can see it, it appears on my map. Get in on the right side. Hang on to your artillery. So you have the choice of riding with them or uh, 
driving? Yeah. I'm going to Armadillo. You're looking a little That's why I never took these. You have to pay money. Or I can just run a little bit outside of town, start a camp, and get there for free. Right, that's weird. Shut my eye <clears throat> I got to the point where you can shoot the gun out of the guy's hand. <laughs> um, oh yeah, five finger fillet. Are you fast, great lady? Sure. You and me. How much can you wager? One dollar. Whoa. Let's Watch do this. this. Hello to you. I thought we were trying to do this quickly. I'm gone! What? Didn't see that coming, did you? Here he goes. Hi. Not bad. All right, there. to you? Oh, damn! That was too damn slow! I didn't press X at the end. Oh, snap. Well, I never... There you go. Who else wants to try? I actually played this a lot and got really good at it. There ain't stop. no point in proceeding if you're not going to wager. I'll Please don't you. try this at home. I'm a trained professional. Oh. Hi. All on black. <laughs> Let's see if I can match it. Boy, you be in trouble. Fuck. You cut your trigger finger off. Do you? that again. I wouldn't want to get in no knife fight with you. I'm not very... Shit me. I once <laughs> saw a man cut his own pecker off trying a variation <laughs> on this amusement. Jesus Christ. It was a variation. Yeah. Not one I'd be That's willing to try. That's the best you got. Well, shit. Word is Drew McFerrin. Out of rhythm. his finger off and kept on playing. I'll do it again. That hurts. Oh, oh. Holy hell! Too slow. You failed what to impress. Boy. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that noise is rough. I don't think I played it much when I played. I think I mostly played poker. The blood on the table. Hey there. Hey there. I was able to do this so bloody fast, you guys wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't believe it. I don't want... I want to uh, advance time here. I don't want to do this martial mission at night. Some of the missions look really crappy at night. Mm. Some of them only make sense at night, but usually those, they'll force you to do it at night. Movie time? Yeah, I could try to go see that movie. Let's see if that guy's... Back, he should be back. So, will that duel show up again? The guy's gone now. I want to duel him again. Much obliged. It might. I think it does. Random duels pop up randomly. Hurts. 
my anus. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of morphine. Gracious creator of health earth, spiritual rhythm, revelations. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these movies are there? I can't remember it. You have adopted an affliction, sir? My dick! It is! Oh my god! <laughs> Tapeworms in color, no woman will court me. Cathartic disease elixir. Cocaine powders. He drank those cocaine powders? Whoa! <laughs> it's shit. all the tapeworms coming out. Dude, you really did have a problem. The last one there. <laughs> the flopping boobs. Yeah, man. <laughs> I must avail myself these bad humors upon this tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bad day. Far too noble to be bearing of the infirm. It is my daughter, she endures temptuous toothaches. toothaches. Cough pain remover. Coke contains 99% laudanum. Oh my god. <laughs> What beastly apparition perils my mother? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> I forgot all about this. Holy fuck. <laughs> He's oh. on break. <laughs> Mexican herbs of joy. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. Muchos drogues, muchachos. Emergency invisible tonic, one use. <laughs> waltzing away. Dreadful damnation paralysis befells my bipedal appendages. Welcome, dear boy. We have been expecting you. <laughs> Medicine, science cannot save you. It will kill you and leave you for dead. <laughs> this message brought to you by the Temperance Union and the Anti-Saloon League. It's amazing. Don't do drugs. I think that's the only one that they do in my memory. Oh my god. He pop. That's awesome. Best two Encore! Devices. They better do a um uh, a return to that in the next Red Dead. There better be a sequel to that film. <laughs> Alright, I need to sleep. Cut. Damn man. Yeah, this I recall as being one of the chores I dislike. Running away from town so I can go set up a camp. Yeah. Um. Can you sleep in the saloon? I may be mistaken. Yeah, but it costs money. Yeah.
There we go. Yeah, let's go do the Marshall mission. I am lost. Uh, this does not feel like where I... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'll go towards the Marshall indicator. Oh, you can collect herbs and I forget what they do. I'll be having that. Survivalist. I forget what you create out of herbs. Maybe we sleepwalked. There are survivalist challenges. Yeah, it seems like we did. Thank Dissy. Yeah. Thank, Thank you to you Dissy, Dissy for sponsoring this episode. Hello. It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these? Better things? to thank him not during Hello. scenes, though. I was trying to do it's a, a new before. line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's important they'll send someone down like they did with you. Wait well, a minute, this thing's the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! This guy. Mm. I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. <laughs> you ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Marshall has some Tommy Lee Jones inflections in him. Mm, nice. Doesn't quite talk like him, though. I will try. How long have you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. <laughs> I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Like Marshall tries to create his posse out of stereotypes. Don't you need yeah. us more than we need you. Bill Weaveson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Nibble. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Yep, now I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Yeah. Everybody Whoa. dismount. Follow me. Let's move up the canyon oh, towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Trying to run gently. Yeah. All gentle like up into this here canyon. Look out! Rustler guard! Go down! Stay close! Are you gonna shoot me with these rustlers, boy? I'll kill the hell out of you! Nice shot!
blood you splatter. Left, you head down that left fork. I'll take the right. Marcus, you can come with me or go with them. All right, let's see. Which way is the marshal going? Uh. I think he's going right. I'll come with him. Although, I wonder what I went with the first time I played. I don't know, fuck it. I like the marshal. Yeah, me too. Cover the marshal. We have not watched Westworld yet, but this is giving me, like, an even stronger desire to watch it. I didn't know Westworld had anything to do with the West. There's a couple of the rat bastards! I didn't think it was a Western. Oh. That's not too smart. Let's keep moving. There's one of them. You love the cover system in this game? It is good. I like that it sticks. I like that they don't make you do anything um, too complicated. Mm, yeah. Actually, yeah, that's what they said. It's good and easy going. Whoop. Surrender! Will Hound. Kill you all! What? Oh, come on. Thank you, Marshall. Put down your guns and surrender. Time to fight the dust. Cool. You really want to die, friend? All right, let's move down and take those bastards in the camp. Wait, 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 Luke. Let's go, Marston. Shush, shush, shush. Marshall, I got dibs. And the dibs are happening now. Yeah. You ran by five dollars. Is that five apples? Only money that comes out of corpses, I think. I think you've been getting ammo too, haven't you? Uh, uh, that's just by walking over them. Oh. That bastard won't be rustling no more. So it's only money is what I think Fraser was asking. dollars in that chest? I don't remember, but I think it was just money. Thank you. Eleven dollars. Did you have a good birthday yesterday? It was a day? That's how birthdays end up. My birthday was a day as well. I don't pay it, no, never mind. Let's push it. Watch out. Looks like there's a couple of snipers over there. Marshal, we should go God up. Damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. Tell the baller to get themselves up, or we'll kill every last one of you. Marshall, we should have gone up. This is your fault. 
And I agree, little money from bodies. Kind of weird that you're expected to take out snipers when you don't even have like a better than this rifle right now. Mm -hmm. I guess I might have been able to purchase it before this web. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Ooh. I'm okay. Phew! That is funny. <laughs> this is just my fall jacket. Sweater thing. That bad guy? I don't know who's bad. Yeah, you just broke your leg and spine. It was your problem, Martin. Got the marshal? I'm just gonna follow people. The game kinda fucked me over. They like look at the snipers. You know what if I just kept playing normal? This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Hell or High Water was a good Western movie. There's so many good Westerns I want to watch. I think it's on Netflix. I think I saw it on there. I'd forgotten about it until recently. Is there explosives down in there? I recall that there was a mission with explosives. Damn. There's Shot. Yeah. It doesn't feel like the weapons that I have right now are well suited to what I currently this mission. Yeah. Damn, nice. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. I got you. Yep. <laughs> Hope so. I just said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you trust too easily. Uh, gets things done. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Well done, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. <laughs> I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. <laughs> Say that again. But one other thing, Marston, Mr. Johnson, sir, it's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? I love this guy. We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Ah. 
That's any what most good characters are like. You should love and hate them. Mm. That's why HBO is so successful. Can you smash boxes? I forget how that happens. Um, it might be that I have to have my fist equipped. I forget exact. If you can, I don't know how it's done. <laughs> but I sadly just loved Trevor. <laughs> You're not supposed to <laughs> just love him. You're supposed to kind of be afraid of him. Yeah, I don't think I can smash boxes. I don't okay. I mean, let me... Do you guys know this? It's feeling like a no-go. Ah, there is oh, TNT. Yeah. I knew this mission had TNT. I just couldn't see it. I could have, like, saved a lot of time there. Had out of the wherewithal. I was never into westerns. Like, straight up didn't like them. I think I just had never seen one before. They're pretty boring for kids. I guess so. But then Fraser got me to watch a few westerns and I was like, holy shit. It's because there's multiple flavors of westerns as well. A good western to me is not much different from a noir film. It should be tragic, sad, nobody, mm. you should never feel as though justice has been truly served. Um, and then there are spaghetti westerns, which are just like grindhouse, very template. Uh, and they can go a couple different ways, but... Um, and then you have Hollywood westerns, which are so happy and like... You know, just mm. beautiful leading men and beautiful leading ladies and right. pretty boring romances. Calamity Jane is a musical? A lesbian musical? How have I not seen this? Oh my god. What were the movies you got me to watch? We watched Lonesome Dove. Oh, but really? But you're not remembering it. Oh, did I like it? Cool. It's amazing. Alright, maybe I should see that again. Um... I think that's all that's in this camp. Does anybody know if there's any other? Oh, Tombstone. Tombstone's of really incredible. As far yeah. as Hollywood, straight up Hollywood westerns go, it's really good. I love that. It's a, it's, it's definitely like watered down for its telling of the real story, but it certainly is entertaining as well. It's so entertaining. Yeah. And it's got amazing actors. Nine Ten to Yuma. Didn't oh, see that. Oh, that's a great one. Did I see that? Yep. Fuck, I did see that guy. Unforgiven's one of the great mod. 910 to Yuma and uh, Unforgiven are two actually. extremely well done modern westerns. We have to see some of the more modern ones. Like, I don't know even know if you can call those too modern anymore, but we need to see. Um, Django Unchained. Yeah, I don't know if that's a western, but. Um, They're saying it is. Sure. All right. <laughs> but I want to see. Uh, all right, horse, I need you, because apparently I can't make a campsite here. Um, I want to see that one with the that had, like... Hateful Eight? Sure. I do want to see that. I want to see the one with the zombies. It's, like, not zombies, but there was, like... We saw the preview for it, and it, like, involved what yeah. felt like a zombie in this really, like, dark scene where... Cowboys versus Aliens? Magnificent Jesus Seven? Fuck. Bone Tomahawk. Bone Tomahawk, okay. Looks really good. It looks creepy. Does Isn't anime that... western count? Because Trigun is a great feature slash western. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I've heard that, um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. I mean, westerns are just, it's a great genre. Oh my god, there was a movie that was a western zombie movie, but it started the Backstreet Boys slash NSYNC. Westerns, um, it's a genre that does, doesn't necessarily mean that the setting is Western. To me, Westerns are about the feeling. It's the, like, concept of that, like, unsettled, untamed rules, like, lack of rules. Sort of like a Wild West feeling where nothing has been, like, everything's, like, even the like law. Like Star Wars? Yeah, I, I guess a little bit like Star Wars. 
A lot of people say that about Star Wars. I feel it's a little bit less true than a lot of people like to lead on about how it's a Western. It's much more like a soap opera. Mm. Firefly? What about... Uh... Firefly has aspects of, of... Yeah, like there's lawlessness for sure in... Yeah, I guess Star Wars is kind of like a Western because you've got like these... The Empire... You have multiple entities that are trying to be the law. Mm. And there's like an amorphous what a hero is type of feeling to it like anti-heroes and like it's yeah. hard to determine what's good and bad is like Battlestar Galactic Galactica is no Galactica it's just true sci-fi is it okay there's no western elements to that from what I remember there's a question mark here the marshal's not here anymore but there is a question mark he does not like Mel Brooks Fraser does not I'm like not Mel not a big Brooks, fan no. of his humor all right, we're going to take a quick break, guys, and we'll be back after this with more Red Dead Redemption. Ooh. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. I want to say, send out a big cowboy's thank you to Dissy. I'm mighty appreciative of what you've done for us. Thanks, Dissy. All right, back into the game. Uh, here we go. So there's somebody here who wants to... She's gone. Who is? You can eat your apple, Ducky. Okay. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got Hanging rock again. Oh, crap. True. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Make me fill out a form. Mm -hmm. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Horse is like, I hate this guy. <laughs> God damn it. Do I hate this man? All right, so I'm headed over again to... It's American Appetites. That's why we never got a conclusion. Because mm. it's an ongoing set of uh, side missions. Did you cover Undead Nightmare DLC? You did, right? With the guys? We did. I don't know if we finished it. But we did do a show on that Undead Nightmare. Mm. Yeah. yeah, only a little bit of it. Also known as Rockstar's final story DLC for a game. Damn. Ouch. Ow, dude. I thought brush the up against him. Undead Nightmare was going to be the like, first in a line of DLCs for Red Dead. I was so excited, and then... No dice. It literally so is for now. What do you think we'll find this time? Um, a spot of blood. I think it's their time. There's a hand. Ooh. Marston, I don't know if there's an investigation necessary. There's a hand next to you. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a good spot to pitch, pitch camp, do camp. Oh no! Have a camp. Don't. Oh god. Well, what did it say up there? Though you've completed this part of the encounter, the story's not over. Check back to the fire sheriff's office in the future. Gotcha. Bang! <laughs> Thanks. You need a better spot for your camp. Aww. You can only be on an expanse of flat ground. This is actually just everyday clothes. Bega likes plaid. I like red and black plaid, especially. She'd be a lesbian if she didn't like the D so much. It's true. <laughs> really like the D. <laughs> it's my only downfall. Can I have some of that? Thank you. Yep, vitamin D, guys. <laughs> I have actually, ugh, pink, um, started taking my vitamins again. Do you want to start taking your vitamins again or no? I could. 
I think sure. It's a good thing to do. It doesn't hurt, except for your pocketbook, but whatever. I'm rich with internet money, so who cares? Sure, right. There's a uh, there's a blue indicator up Multi top. Multivitamins, yeah. I am not a fan of pink, and I am not a fan of purple. Purple. Oh, look at the, look at behind the kick. The painting Ooh, behind Ooh, I see that. Rum? What is going on in here? Oh, it's the bandits outside. I feel like I would have thrived in the old west days. With your pussy wrist? Well, I wouldn't have, you know how I got the pussy wrist? Yes. Computer work. I would have been fine. Fine. Then with your knees? That was breakdancing. Uh. I don't remember this guy. That's a very particular character that I do not remember being in the game. <laughs> I don't remember background Honestly, characters sir, looking like these dudes. We got the same handkerchief. Some of these characters are more detailed than I remember. <laughs> I'm not here for that, miss. Those tumbleweed varmints are always lynching folks. You hear about that shootout at the old Pleasant House? That's quite a thing. Plenty dead or damn near. What's this about? My. Ah, uh, you can purchase places to live, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is now permanently mine, which Sweet. means I can sleep here at any time, which cool. will save me some time. Yeah. It also gives me a place to store things, I think. Property purchase. Oh, gave me some free ammo. Whoa! Damn! We got quick access to the patio? You guys remember other benefits to do owning places? I can't remember. Well, hello there. Bonjour, mister. Sir Garen. Welcome. First time as a turbo for Sir Garen? Mm hmm? Mm. Cool. Tell me when you've become a, a. Tell me when you've become a show sponsor. Maybe then I'll give a damn. Dizzy. You're nothing to me compared to Dissy. <laughs> <laughs> Unlocks outfits, I think. Is that what it does? Let me see if I've got any outfits. Your first insult. <laughs> <laughs> They're all celebrating for him. Yep. You've been insulted already. <laughs> I've been waiting for mine. I still haven't been insulted. Now you're a true turbo. Open armoire. Armoire. That's so fancy. I don't remember ever doing this. Opening armoires. What the fuck did that? That did nothing. Change outfits. Yeah. It said X. Or square. I do not remember starting the game with a gentleman's outfit. Was this... It lies, allows you into high stakes poker games in Blackwater. Do you oh. guys remember this? Holy fuck, I do not remember this outfit. Was this added? Wow, that is a nice looking outfit. I don't remember this outfit. That needs to be unlocked, probably DLC. It's fun, but it doesn't fit Marston, so I'm yeah. gonna go back. It doesn't fit my image of Marston. Er, yes. What would Fraser's job be in the Wild West? And his personality. Gunslinger. I'd be a, I, I wouldn't be like a tough guy though. I'd be more like Doc Holliday for sure. Yeah. Try to be more clever than apothecary. I'd be a talker, which usually gets killed. Prostitute, Dear sassy, working woman, bank Dear teller, or undertaker, <laughs> train I could, conductor. I could be a snake oil salesman. Kitty sheriff. I put the Jim Murphy name on yeah, a couple of people said train conductor. 
Interesting. Yeah, people are saying sexy talkie, talker gunslinger snake oil sexy. salesman. See the bad guy? Oh, fuck! Oh. I, oh, no, that isn't fair. I thought that guy was... Oh. <laughs> the fucking hell just happened? Like, uh, screaming, then a guy running at full tilt away from the scene of the scream, and he's not the bad guy? You gotta do some more research, dude. You can't just shoot willy-nilly. What was that guy doing? I thought you were gonna be a smart, smart gunslinger. What was that guy doing? <laughs> if he wasn't a bad guy. I don't know. Hello. How do you do? I think he was being chased. <laughs> also, how'd that guy kill me so fast? I, I went down to one bullet. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Do you want some apple? This establishment yeah. welcomes you. Why, hello. Everything here is proudly made right here in the USE. U.S.E. E. A fine choice. Rapid split. How do you um equip those that such a thing? Okay, I'm always in the market for interesting goods. That guy talks like the dude we love from like that we do, that's in Call of Duty. Mmm, mmm, that guy. Just got rough. You're welcome here anytime. The Southwestern Railroad Company. I want more apple now. Mm-hmm, right? It's so sweet and delicious. Apples are good for your teeth, and they also make you want to drink water. And eat almonds. Maybe that's just Apples, me. um... You like speed, huh? No. I'm gonna go camp. Um, apples come in... In Japan, they come pre-sliced in packages yeah, for a pretty good price. They package way too many things. I love it. Like, their packaging is out of hand. I don't care. And they give <laughs> bags, like, crazy. Yeah, but they're, they deal with garbage so well. That's true. So I just have to hold this and I suddenly get 20% more. <laughs> Is the fruit in Japan sweet? Yes. It tastes like Canadian fruit to me. I don't remember eating, or I mean, I don't remember having a, a rabbit's foot or like it being a thing before. Is that just a thing you need to get right away and like hold it for the rest of the game? Because I don't recall it at all. There is delicious food in Japan, that's for sure. They sell packaged apple slices at your university's convenience store? Sweet. I had it, but I don't remember where I got it. Yeah, at uh, Nakano Broadway, they have um, some melon that's like, like thousands of dollars that you can buy, which doesn't make any sense. Welcome to my shop. Dear sir, hello. I got nothing but good, honest profit. If you guys donate $1,800, we'll get those grapes and eat them. Just for you. Just for you. We're kind like that. I don't know how for what? Away with these prices, if they donate $1,800, we'll get the grapes that cost $1,800 and we'll eat them for them. That's or, my deal. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll just keep the money and then pretend that I bought $1,000 grapes and do a video. <laughs> don't tell them. Damn. Mm, guys, these are the best $1,000 grapes I ever had. <laughs> Look at my new TV. <laughs> Unrelated. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? Oh, shit. John You're Marston, scary. this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, 
My daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. May I brush your hey, mustache, you know, sir? <laughs> lived here for 30 With years With my now. tongue. May I Came touch it? from the east. Ew. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I'm very more of my children than I raised. Aww. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent the worst menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> again? Oh, because of the bowling hats. Mm -hmm. Of course. Shouldn't we do this, this in Mr. better Austin? weather? Yeah. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Cool. Yeah. He had a hoverboard, that an invisible a, hoverboard. That was a pretty good trick. Man. Let's go. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret and sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the But I the know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Horse breaks me. There they are! Let's get after them! Rope one! Bring him down together! Come on, boy! Go! Throw that damn rope, Marston! Did your dad ever teach you how to let you? Weird. It's a big rock. I say a lasso and I always will. So my dad said lasso. It may be a regional thing. 
It may be what? A regional thing. Mm. My dad worked on a ranch, was a cowboy, so was my uncle, and they said at last hey, suit. You get back on your own horse. Start or straight? Okay. So it's any of you last suited. <laughs> I mean, now that I know lasso, it sounds better. But I remember it always being called lasso yeah. when I was a kid. Me too. Come on, baby. Calm down. Wonder Woman calls it a lasso. You got him eating out of your hand. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ramp. Come on. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. A life I want. For me and my family, I mean. <laughs> we don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. So Ouch. that must be shy joker, Mr. McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day if you can bear I don't think we quite broke that horse. Yeah, man. <laughs> it doesn't give a fuck. I think it takes more than half a minute to break a horse. Well done, Mr. Marston. <laughs> he These rushed back horses. to the ranch to pose. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, man. <laughs> Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. It feels like Bonnie needed a friend. Yeah, man. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure <laughs> ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No. <laughs> That's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's Stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Mr. McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes. That's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man. You 
dummies. Get on now. This herd is stupid. Drones that do this now. Yeah. I know there are. What would your uncle say about that? I don't know. I remember talking to him about it. He says that mostly they just use them to survey. Now they're being split up by these rocks. Fantastic, you fucking... God damn it. Don't go over it. Oh my god. <laughs> this always happened to me, that dumb rock. Aww. If I just guide a couple, like they're magnetic to each other, yeah. so they don't want to leave too many behind, but if you can get a couple going, you can usually... Whoa there. You fucking... Oh my god. Whoa. Get! Oh my god. Let's go! <laughs> this mission doesn't stand out in my mind as something I enjoyed. <laughs> oh my god! They just keep on going back onto the rock because they're attracted to each other. So the ones on the rock just keep on bringing the other ones up over and over again. Uh. I'm going to stand over here till you guys get it sorted out. Same kind of pushed this to the back of my mind because it was not fun. <laughs> Can I have uh, an apple? There's one horse. We're all in an apple. Aw, oh, shit. One of them separated. I hope it's not enough to... Okay, he's coming back. <laughs> okay, hopefully the herd will force him to come to them instead of them going to him. No, no, you are not going back up on the rock. There we go. Leave your brother behind. I don't give a fuck. Nope, you're not going back to him. He is dead now. He's dead to you. Come on. Nobody liked him anyway. It's like there's an algorithm, like if they get too far away from another horse, like they all want to go back. Oh my god, he's seriously not coming. Yeah. Oh, now he's coming. Okay. Woo! Go. Good work. Oh, hell no. Yeah. 
Marston just shoots it, brings back our, our corpse. Horse head. Yeah. I thought that's what you wanted, Miss McFarlane. <laughs> Razor's so upset he's throwing nooses at horses now. <laughs> Calm down now. Come on, baby. Calm down. Do you guys remember what the there's this one horse that's like the best horse and it's really hard to find. What is it again? That's it. I think they were talking about that earlier, and actually. It's it only appears during certain times during like a lightning storm. <laughs> Unicorn. <laughs> no, I don't think that was it. Uh, the skeleton horse is different. I'm talking about like. There's a Thanks unicorn in on that today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Damn. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. I... I do remember the former horsemen of the apocalypse horses. But there's another one. There's like, is it white lightning? There's a, there's a horse you can get in the main game. Let's go. That's special. What's your horse's name? I don't know. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. Come on. I don't want to name horses. You don't want to grow attached to them. Oh, okay. Not in the Wild West. <laughs> Mr. Putter. <laughs> Buddy is a good name. <laughs> Was it a white horse, do you remember? Possibly. I can't go back to Armadillo. Can I have some chips, please? Oh, I got a hankering. To go get more apples? I have a hankering for some chips. Do you want me to go get more apples? I'm a hankering for some I chips. I hear you loud and clear. Pardon me, everybody. This chip break brought to you by Dissy. <laughs> Dissy. Thank you. Unless you guys want to go after the um, snake oil salesman. it up and all I could find was the four horses and the unicorn. The war horse black could be bought. That's war horse is what people were talking about earlier in the chat. Nobody can see because of the Dissy photo. As much as we love Dissy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna go to try to look into that snake oil salesman now. We call people buddies a lot. I can't help calling people buddies because of the show. It's a fun fact about the show, actually. What? I specifically started using buddies by design. No, you didn't, did you? Yep. I went. I spent a lot of time deciding on a name to call the audience. I never even knew. I thought I discussed it with you. Oh, uh, you probably you did. You forget a lot it was of things. It's probably a long discussion. Yeah. It wasn't just something that happened. I actually uh, chose to use buddies. Because I didn't want to call you dudes and dudettes because that was Ace and Chet's thing. Mm. And I wanted to make it sure that it wasn't... Um, I wanted it to be gender neutral instead of saying guys. Mm. Mm. And it, guys doesn't sound very friendly either. This guy, man. So smart. <laughs> um... But I remember the first few times I used it, it felt awkward. It just didn't sound like something you say. Huh. Buddies. Huh. Oh, we could I this. do know I used to always use the term duder. And I do use duder a lot. But, because it's gender neutral as well. Mm -hmm. Dude is also, I think, te technically gender neutral <laughs> if you go by the old West term. What's a dude again? <laughs> Anyways. Is this the you same okay, woman? <laughs> My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. You seeing a pattern here, Marshall? But he's a good man. He don't 
drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went messing up in the hills? Hanging rock. How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh, my God. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm at the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> yeah. You know what you can do? There's a dude, like, two houses down that just had the same thing, and his <laughs> wife was missing. So, and she's in a family way. She could give the baby to the woman who lost her son. You should be a King Solomon. Yeah. Is that the guy who cut the baby in half? I just agree with anything you say. Okay. <laughs> And give the baby to the wolves. <laughs> yeah. Okay, according to dictionary, uh, urban Easterners who vacations on a ranch is a duder. Is it dude? Come on. What the? My waypoint's not marked on my map. The red path is marked, but before, earlier when I marked the waypoint on the hanging rock, it showed the X on the edge of my circle, but now it's not. Oh, it's weird. very weird. Oh, whatever. Dude, there sounds like something you put in the toilet. That's duty. That's different. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's not, man. You gotta help me, mister. Did we get to this one on time? <sighs> Looks like it. Oh, mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me oh. and broke my leg. What? what? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Bring him here. I can remember, um... Can't stay right now. I remember it going like this. Damn. You can't... Okay. Is it permanently failed? It's not, you just have to start it again. Because I remember trying to do it like this and it doesn't work because it's clear this guy, there's something up. Yeah. Well. You get the smelly in. <laughs> I think you have to go back to the sheriff's, sheriff's office. Might have to wait a while. Yeah, see, the X is there now. It wasn't earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, I might have to wait for it to reset. But I'm going to bring him back. Is this your husband? No? <laughs> well, then he wanted to eat your husband. Yeah. Is there a name for that eagle squeal? Um, an eagle squeal? It's like the Wilhelm scream of eagle. Well, it's pretty classic. I guess they all sound kind of similar. Yeah, that's true. What? what? Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, everybody. A caw. 
Becky just thinks it's the same eagle. It is. It's only two eagles out there. So the lady just disappears. Well, nobody can say I didn't do my job. Yeah. But I did the right thing. They'll figure that out. Hey, there's guys after me right now. I better go pay my bounty. Do I even have the money? Yeah, we have like $140, I think. All right. <laughs> You're too friendly. I don't like it. Where do you pay the bounty? Cattle's all riled on account of that mountain line. Somebody in there said it was in the train station, but I'm not seeing that. There? No. I'll see you later. Oh, that some... guy when he's behind the desk. Oh, oh god damn it. Be carrying there. Why not? What's used in movies for a bald eagle is actually a red-tailed hawk sound. Really? Howdy. Oh, do you know what you're what doing? You're up against. This is gonna be easier than I thought. No! Knew I could win something. No! I'm even quicker than this when I ain't drinking. That's the best you got. Rockstar's great at putting really boring games into their... Yeah. Oops, into their games that people get obsessed with. Yeah. Ow, oh, fuck. Go ahead. Do it, do that. Not with rhythm. Got to do it with rhythm. God damn it! Shit! Got to do it twice. Two rounds. Howdy! Oh no! Looks like you're gonna have to get faster, my friend. Thanks for giving me multiple chances, me. dude. Mm -hmm. So you have to beat a certain number of people, right? Per per table per town. Like how many people is it per town? How much you gonna put that? Damn, for real? <laughs> I don't know. Don't be a mess for me. starters. Hello there. Howdy. Oops. <laughs> you ain't much good at this. Oh my god! I guess I'm out of practice. Damn. God damn it. Hell. See? That's how it's done. That was really good. Watch this. Hello. <laughs> the can shit is pretty funny. Yeah. He's not even doing it fast. I win yeah. by default. Oh, you have to do it three times? And you didn't even lose a finger. So you Shit. keep going? Jesus Christ! The guy said jibber jabber really distracted me. <laughs> I ain't listening to that jibber jabber. Fuck! Uh, I failed to impress. Three people per town. Marston has good veins. You got the balls for a game of finger fillet. I'm scared. Where's the wanted posters in this town? They said they weren't sure if you have a bounty because, um... Hey, where'd all your money go? I don't know. I bought some shit. Oh. You um, can pay the bounty. Oh, you guys were wrong. Oh. Wait, maybe you weren't You don't wrong. have enough money now. No, you're right. <laughs> I thought it was a different building there. Train station wall. I think you only have nineteen dollars right now, so 
Guy, why aren't you ever working? That's a piece of shit. Train station wall. Howdy. Anyways, we're supposed to be going to that guy. This is how Rockstar Games work, mm -hmm. though. Where is there he is. Nigel West Dickens. I'm thinking this whole Wild West adventure He's at the train wrong. station? We were just at the train we station. Are not we? Yep, we were clearly at the train station. What? Somebody said it was the guy behind the counter. It's not a guy, it's on the wall. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Do we have an answer on what these are for again? Besides being a survivalist? Or is it only for survival? The, the survivalist challenges? <gasps> What's going on here? Always late, Batman. What? Aw, she's crazy. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh. Let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. <laughs> Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. <laughs> Marston. I can't bear it. Can you just shoot her? So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. Marston? Okay. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I love that it feels like Rockstar has even become self-aware. Like, they know how one-track mind their protagonists are. You have a job? All right. <laughs> I'll do it. Without even like any discussion about what he looks like, yeah, nothing. What the reward might be. Yeah. Um. So they said in there. <coughs> uh. That collecting herbs is for challenges, selling, and what else was there? Medicine, a few side quests. Okay, thank you guys. So, could we have shot her? I think she disappears after Earth. Did was she still there? Doesn't matter. And you can craft yeah, things. Just so them. you know, I don't take requests, Mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. And let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. <laughs> She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stage coach. If you could convince her to take me back. He calls you nice things like wench. Her name's Rose. <laughs> I guess I'll go have a talk with her. A rose by any other name, like wench or bitch. Bitch. <laughs> So 
Sorry, partner. I'm the Queen of England. I don't think that's a good idea. Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it... What about that last two point? Chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. <laughs> Marston. Uh, hello. Hogtie or threaten Rose. Don't have to ask him twice. <laughs> it's an amazing quest conclusion. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Bring Rose back to her husband. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I'm already dealing with something, sorry. <laughs> Face down, right onto the floor for it. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo. <laughs> He's just looking at his wife. <laughs> yeah, it looks about I'm right. A queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well. <laughs> What happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellas Rest. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I guess. Armadillo's on up. Bastards! You got what you wanted, now get out of here. I'll be taking your wife. <laughs> there is nobody here who's better than me. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh my god. Why don't you skedaddle now? Yes, I am! I smell a dread coming from your blues, miss. There you go. You just bored her for, like, a little bit. Oh, you're going to put her on the tracks? Not such a good guy after all. <laughs> and I don't even get blamed for it because the game doesn't consider it to be me that's killing her. Oh, God. Ooh. Appreciate that. I don't remember looking at all this. Or maybe I did. Maybe it's, I think it's once per town you get to see the paper. They talk about the Vanderlind gang there. Mm. Grave robber capture, but crimes persist. Prisons of Armadillo are baffled by the mysterious and somewhat repugnant case of the Moses of Moses Forest. Uh, Mexican leader appeals for calm. Why be vertically chested? <laughs> Increases horizontal, increase horizontal bus size, confidence, and compensation. So perfect and convincing when placed on the natural bus, they can be detected, cannot be detected even by the most mesmerized gaze <laughs> of gentlemen, gentlemen admirers. Oh my god. World famous bus forms. Increase bu bus size, confidence, and compensations sloppy molly's ducks <laughs> dockyard oysters unique texture like you've never oh. tasted before now with less grit oh dollar ten for six cans the proof is in the odor <laughs> oh free my god free as the day they were canned Sick. fresh as the day they were canned great mandarin washing machine no more rubbing or padding a wonderful gift for the wife Super ball bearing band cylinder washing machine, perfect for boarding houses or something schools. Even the most docile housemaid can do it. The most sanitary way to clean clothes. Doctors worried about future from tonic from the east. 
Kart race to be held at Gap Tooth Breach. Date to be announced. Large cash prize. Winner takes all. Birds and Pelts wanted. Young boy missing. Ralph Anderson. Age eight years. Please oh, contact shit, Grace Anderson of Armadillo with any information. Animal bait for sale. Tracks big prey with small training posts. Beds available for much wire farm. The old ways is the, the best, best ways. ways. Tobacco fights tuberculosis. Yes, of course it does. <laughs> An orphan of telephones. Everywhere that fresh air abounds, a man knows nothing of coughs, cold or lung inflammations. However, the man creates cities and is herded into factories, sweatshops, and mines and mills. These soggy and unhygienic atmospheres spread the most deadly of pulmonary diseases. Tuberculosis, Dr. Charles L. Heldon says workers can disinfect themselves and protect against disease through the regular smoking in their workplace. Oh my god. <laughs> Plug tobacco, Jolly Jacks. Taste it, chew it, spit it. Unequaled flavor and satisfaction, no after effects. Aids digestion, vibrancy, and masculinity. 30 pound butts. Big piece for little money. Man, the detail in that is amazing. So you me, just left her on the train tracks and then bought a newspaper and read it for read a while. It. I was expecting, or hoping, the train would come. Newspapers bought detail of various goings on in the world, including some of your own, in order to read the newspaper. Choose a newspaper from your satchel. Okay, can I see these guys that are firing right now? Oh, they're over there. They're so loud. Oh, there they are. Stand by and let them terrorize them. <laughs> <laughs> that was just grand. Oh, you were probably right to do that. Uh, Why me? I'm a good man. He say he's still talking. He's done now. Is he technically still alive? I don't know. He fainted. <laughs> he can't be lassoed. He's fine, just sliding down the hill a little. I'm riding him. Yeah, you are. I'm seriously riding yeah, him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Nice. <laughs> Aw. He was a good man. <laughs> I guess I can loot bodies now. Can I borrow this, friend? Never been person surfing before? <laughs> what well, does the train come? She is still on the tracks, yes. I'm sure she is. Yep, I see her. Get down. Oh! I didn't know that you could do that, like, that hog tying was a bad thing. I thought you could get away with hog tying. No. Oh, fuck. It's not gonna make it any better to hog tie everyone in town. I just don't want any witnesses to go tell the cops. Stop watching these goings on. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a very slippery slope. So I'm not getting negative 50 honor for every hog tie. It sees oh, I'm allowed, like, once I've done one, I'm allowed to do as many as I want. The train is coming. Guys, just watching the whole thing. <laughs> They're all just yelling. Hey, wait now! Hold What's still. Still the we had to do at least one of these. Might as well do it now. Hey, 
Right, no animal. have to. I ain't no animal. Smells <laughs> funny. Thanks for the info. Thanks for the news update. They're all bad people? Okay. I hear them rustlers, the what? Hey! That's weird. That I thought isn't... we got at least three last time. Yeah, that doesn't usually happen. Th so this, guy, the reason it was negative 50 armor is he instantly died. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think that you would get in trouble for hog tying. It was like, it considered it a death, even though I didn't do anything. If you look at your map, it shows where the train is. What's the purple there for? Let no man put asunder. Oh, that's the the current mission I'm on. Where is the train? I don't see it. Oh, there it is, way over there. Oh, and there's only one, eh? McFarlane's well, they won't ranch. be here for a long time. Oh well. Are always talking about this person and that person? How about some five-finger filet? Well, that was... Okay. Yeah, it takes too long, so fuck it. Aw, crap! <laughs> it's near my bounty, too. I could go up there. Kill two birds with one stone, I reckon. Mm. Oops. She's still there. The other guy disappeared, but she's still there. Uh, maybe got freed from his friends. That's your fault! What the hell? That thing is invincible. Oh. It's him! He was the one... My fame went up. Whew. My honor went up. not a problem, sir. So, you know... Oh. It's all like the circle of life or something. <laughs> yeah, kill one, save one, kill one, save one. We've just done a little bit more killing than saving. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep a tally. Fine. What are the, so um, I, I don't remember how I beat the game last time. Whether I stayed in the middle, if I went like honorable or not honorable. So you can go into challenges, I guess. And this is um, journal challenges. So kill skin five coyotes, kill five coyotes, um, skin the corpses, and collect the pelts. Unlock rewards and become Legend of the West. What are the rewards, guys? Because you don't find out till you finish. Shoot and kill five flying wild birds. Survivalist one, collect six wild fever few. Try pressing triangle. Good call. Mm, still doesn't say anything, though. the guy I killed or is this the deer the guys over there yeah I remember Let's get this over with. that camera on but that sounds like a lot more trouble <laughs>
But yeah, the cutscenes are annoying. Um, I'm going to that doctor. Alright, first I'm gonna get the bounty. Depends on how you're hunting. A lot of times it's worthwhile. Uh oh. Jeez, that just keeps going, eh? Maybe this isn't easy. Maybe I should just go to the old the, the mission. The plant one increases the time of the item, which shows the plants on the map. <laughs> which then, um, I guess, makes it easier to complete the future challenges. Maybe. Well, I'm at least about to... Uh, get your coyote one? Get my coyote one. Retrieve the treasure map. Guys. Something's going on. Fuck off. There's a treasure map over there, because uh, a tr I'm not allowed to scan right now. Oh, yeah. I can. My fame went up. Maybe he was a bad guy. Maybe it was from killing coyotes. What's this all about, guys? Where's the treasure map? Pretty sure you waited too long? All right. Because you're supposed to, like, save the treasure hunter, and then, I don't know, everything's really fuzzy in my memory. Mm. Ooh, a graveyard. So this is where the guy said that the old ladies... Oh... Killed by a blow to the head in 1894. He will never dance with another. Shit. Bad? Hmm. You never can tell. What's the date? Uh, uh, it's 1911. Oh, so it was like 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah. 16. Right, guys, it's 1911. I just saw 1911 a whole bunch in the chat earlier, so I assume. Hey, you. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. What? I thought I was Who's just gonna have a nice Hi, guy. Look at all the body parts in the bucket. Oh dear. Oh dear. It is 1911. Thank you very much. Awkward uh, hug. <laughs> straight home if I was you. Get the fuck out of here. No, you run, lady. I can shut you up if you start hollering. <laughs> she wasn't appreciative enough in that hug. Yeah, it was a piss poor hug, lady. Yep. Chat approved. <laughs> oh, I got like 50 bucks from that. That was pretty good. Sometimes I just decide what you approve of. <laughs> I 
So yeah, you don't get in any trouble for... Um, you don't get any trouble for lassoing a person. I didn't think so. Huh. That guy just glitched out who was at the top of that yeah. thing. He died. It wasn't my fault. Oh, those are really skinny dogs. Those are goats. No, get over oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, skinny dog. <laughs> You're the weirdest looking dog I've ever seen. Um, I forget if there's like random treasure chests in the world. There are, I just don't remember like where they're typically. Like, can I search this place? Would it have one? The guy seems to not matter, mind that I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you always watch your head when you're walking at a barn. You always have to look up. I think what it was was that they do appear, but they're so rare that it makes it feel almost silly to go around searching. Mm, okay. But then if you miss one, you get, like, it sucks, because, like, I remember some of them being really rewarding. But they were really rare. Like an abandoned house had one once, like a, uh, the There are ruins. treasure chests on each location you discover. Oh, it's only when it's a location, like it appears with a name? Like here? Mercer Station? Maybe. Oh. Maybe you I'm relaxed. Oh, I shoot a hole in your head. Who's saying that? <laughs> was it being sarcastic or was he glitching? Oh, he was the bounty uh, target, so I'm okay. allowed to take his. I'm not here for you, mister. Just gotta touch this body some. So you earn a trophy once you've discovered all the areas, which means you've covered the whole map. Stations are not part of the locations. This is technically a station? Yeah. So it won't have treasure? No. You sure? No. Oh? Would you look at that? Is it treasure? 15 bucks. That's treasure. You can um. go get shot. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! You were good. I was mean, he? like, I suggested it. I didn't mean, like, immediately go get shot. <laughs> yeah, that was, um... Fuck, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? That was a sneak attack. Um, what I was gonna ask was, is treasure ever not money? We already asked that question about looting bodies, but I want to know if, um... Treasure is sometimes, sometimes ammo? Is, is it ever an item, like a special item? I can't remember if special items can be found in this game or not. That was fucking insane. No! Oh There's god. More coming. Oh my god. Yikes! Get the fuck out of here. Do you think it's because I'm here? I don't think it is. I think it's just coincidence that I keep on getting guys coming at me. I meant active train stations will not will not have it. Treasure is what you make of it. 
Gold bar is a treasure. Oh god. There's more coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good shot. This is insane. I'm out of here. They keep coming in chasing you until you get the bounty. Oh, really? So that's why this is happening. Especially if you keep the guy alive. OK. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can keep the guy alive. All right, now it's all coming back to me. OK, thank you. I remember that being like a really difficult thing was like I challenged myself to always take them alive. Oh, really? Because it is, some of them are really hard. Because you got to hog tie and put them on the back while you're being shot at. Gold bars are found using treasure maps. When do I unlock Deadeye in this? Oh, but it, there's a witness to that? I did, he's a fucking bandit. Are you kidding me? Did I or did, did I shoot a guy in front of him? Is that why? I like, don't know. Oh fuck. Props. Oh god. I think I accidentally shot an innocent. Yeah, I did. Oh, so now crap. I can't bring him back. Let's go. That's amazing. All right, so I got to kill some lawmen. Oh god, bounty's going. Oh, on. they just keep on coming. Come on. I'm getting some Come on. shit luck in this. So I'm shooting guys who are shooting at me, and the fucking assholes that aren't even helping me get in the way and die. I don't even know how to get away from the law guys. Like, they're way faster than me. As if a fucking random asshole gets in my way. Where do I turn it in? I think it's over here at the train station. It's also where I pay my bounty. Mm. We'll see if I can finally pay this thing. Okay, I get it. I'll try. Pay off bounties at the counter. 70 fucking dollars. Excuse me. I'm a murderer. I'd like to pay for those murders. This should do it. He says at the top of his voice that can barely be heard from next to him. At the sheriff's office? I just paid it off. Oh, you're talking about turning it in. Yeah. Oh, man. If I remember, you unlocked Deadeye level one during the mission with Bonnie. Yeah, we did unlock Deadeye level one. I assaulted a cop, so the bounty failed? Are you sure the bounty's over? I guess it is, because... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Got some more chips. We should probably eat something proper at some point, huh?
Hmm. Hmm. This episode is brought to you by Dissy. Hey, it's the wrong horse. What? Oh my god. Level two no! is the mission with Nigel. Oh get off! God. Get on now! You're gonna want the lid, otherwise they'll get stale. Oh dear. I'm hungry too, but I don't want a snack. Is this okay? I'm allowed to put the lid on. Dizzy! Thank you, Dizzy. We'll finish up here. Razor eating chips is friggin' scary. Were you raised in a barn? Thanks, Mom. Did your parents say that? Uh, maybe. My parents totally said it. Yeah, my dad may have. I wasn't, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was. Preach, baby! Poots <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chapel. So there's no ending to that old woman's quest. Like, you don't. Oh, um, we don't go tell her? No. Seriously? Yeah, it's just over. I got honor for completing it. But yeah, she's like, you never turn it in. I kind of like it that way, because it feels realistic. It's like, just like, it makes, it really adds to the loneliness of the game, I feel like. Things that go unresolved throughout. That's mine. You get the fuck out of these parts. This is my coyote. Gosh, I don't know where I'd be without you guys explaining these things to me. It went right over my head. <laughs> I don't think this graveyard is used for anything until Undead Nightmare. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you come back and you do stuff there. What are we doing right now? Trying to get to the old... Um... Doctor or something? Yeah. Thanks, guys. I think that's why I liked uh, like both this game and Black Flag. It's that feeling of loneliness. Mm. There's a distinct melancholy to the whole um, experience. Um, I guess I'm gonna like set up my camp in advance time so it's daytime when I see this guy. Doesn't like just setting up the camp advance the time? Or did it? Maybe it would just needed to be advanced again. Unless I have to save. I don't remember. I'll save, whatever. You think maybe that's the reason you didn't like this as much as other people? The feeling of loneliness? I love those, like, anything that can get across that, that haunting feeling really appeals to me. No. Although I do, like, quite enjoy this so far. Did, was I teleported? Oh, no, I wasn't teleported this time. All right, I'm going to go, we're going to go see this guy. Swindler Blues. Excuse me. He's just giving Excuse up. Excuse me, sir. You need help? 
Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, I fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. You can't. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh, I thought he had a spinal. <laughs> This guy's a drama queen. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. <laughs> I love how everybody yells yeah. at each other from close range. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Bullies on iPhone? Straight, will you? What? Weird. So what the fuck was that, dude? This is the guy that the weird deputy was talking about. God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? Uh-oh. You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bonner twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. My God, come back and finish me off. You're running shotgun, dude. Yeah, but he's hurt. So he was left there for dead. Oh. oh dear. We're good. We're good. Uh oh. Wrong way. Whoops. Not too fast, sir. I make it. I'm not sure I'll make it. Yeah. Whoops. I put a put a fight though. I can tell you. Yeah, it looks like they really got the mess. West Dickens is getting injured. Yep. Get me to the doctor. What's for supper, Mama? I'll be home soon. I think he, it goes down faster if you're not on the road. I am not an enemy in the world. Is that? Oh, he's well, telling the truth. He's not just being dramatic when he says get on the road. Yeah. I beg of you. I didn't know that it actually hurt him oh. being on off road. Oh, fun fact. Snake oil actually did work for some ailments. However, it was Chinese water snake oil that worked. The quacks used rattlesnake oil. Oh. And then he died. <laughs> Scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, I'm a victim of my own success. They see a man in a wheelchair suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? Good Lord, it's those scoundrels once again. I'm in a bad place here. Guys, when do I get my fucking, um, Deadeye? So many of these things could be easier by a Deadeye. It sounds like you don't get it for a while. Really? Yeah. Whose missions give it to me? And you're pulling a hard Yui here. Uh, Neville? Did you guys say Neville? Or something? I think it's Nigel. Who's Nigel? We'll find out. I knew this was okay. my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Is that our girl? Come on, hurry! Please drive carefully. Every boat is like getting stuck by 
lightning! Stop moaning, old man. You'll be fine. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh! oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a Whoa, he looks like my uncle. Man of honor. Yeah. There. I kind of guess. Coming yeah. from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be a man for for let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Oh, that was weird. I do recall earlier it said Dead Eye Level 1. But I don't know. Uh, what is the button to initiate Dead Eye if I wanted to test it? Is it R3? No, that goes behind me. I'm a man of honor. Nice. I'll do one more mission with him quick. Oh, Nigel's wounds take some time to heal. Ah, so he's Nigel. Maybe one more Marshall mission. Only one gun has dead eye right now, I think. Spare the rod, spoil It's L3 day. and R3? Okay, good. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Hmm. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. You Thank said you the magic first. word. It's going to be a bloody posse? job. Posse. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Thank you. Aim and press L3. All right, L2, then R3. Hey, wait up! It's interesting that it doesn't teach you that. Mm -hmm. Come on. And how is it? How is Dead Eye ga gauge turn? How does it go up? It looks like it's just time. Time. For a man who claims to have found is a remedy right? to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. Yeah. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand the goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshall, see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Aw, man. Ain't no survivors here, Marshall. <laughs> Consumables restore the dead eye meter. Okay. Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. Let's go. Which one do I want? Winchester repeater or the repeater carbine? Looks like this one's all around better, except for reload speed. So I'm gonna go with the Winchester repeater. Come on! We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Look, Marshal, more vultures. We best take a look, boys. Go. Oh, 
was that person over yeah, there? Yeah, I don't know what was happening there. <laughs> Dead body. The fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! But guys, looting. Come on, yeah. that's right. They kind of got too far. Sons of bitches! Think you want to run a gang of outlaws? Harsh things? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. The door's locked, Marshal! Marston, come on. There you go. Take it. No one here. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Marshall. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and I'll move those sons of Yeah, there's a lot of baddies. <laughs> I, I did that a lot in my playthrough. Uh. Oh yeah, they don't come out because they got it boarded up. I have to wait until this gets smoked out. Oh. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is a good spot. On your move, Marshall. I mean, or is it? It wouldn't be smart for me to run around outside when they they've got the house. This is a dumb move. But I might have to do it. Marshall, you said you were gonna smoke him out? What's going on here? This reminds me of Fargo. The TV series. The music. Mm -hmm. You and me gonna have ourselves fun. Well. Ah! happening. Keep your head down. Wow. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Worse than dead, honey. Ooh. Hey, come on, mister. Take a break for the shed when the coast is clear. It'll be a day. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. 
good thing I learned. When did they teach you Deadeye? I have had it. It this was when you were killing the bunnies. Apparently it said it Oh, then, I just wasn't but, paying attention. Yeah. Oh. In my defense, Rockstar always has been really bad at tossing tutorials at you in little text at the top. Yeah. When you're listening to a character talk. It's so stressful. I always dread going into a Rockstar game because, like, their intro scenes are often so amazing. Like, it was really bad during Grand Theft Auto V. Mm, yeah. As I'm, like, desperately trying to, like, read the text at the same time as enjoy the scene. Yeah. GTA 4 and onwards logs, Mom. Is it 4 where it started? You don't even, like, know that you've missed anything half the time. Yeah, because, like, you just... And it doesn't... Well, you can always go back in your log, I guess, that journal that it yeah. said. Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Yeah. Shut up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Lady, we're trying. Yo. She's very upset. I get it. I get it. Get on your horse, boy. Uh, which one's mine? Let's go. Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. <laughs> Marston like tries that. to play coy, but he eventually has to spill it all. I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Is that somebody on the cliff? This is why I want Marston in the next game. You just I want to see those times now, where he leaves him for dead. I didn't kill you before. Yeah. We saw but one I sure time, but. Shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. <laughs> I know you ain't man enough to stop me. He just shoots him again. <laughs> yeah. God no, I don't want damn to it. You, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! Behind your horrors. That was awesome how slow they ran. my motivation, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say rapists? Oh, I thought you said grapists. People who like grapes. I love me some grapes, so I was confused. <laughs> but if we're talking rapists, I'm all aboard, sir. <laughs> Never mind, Marston, we killed them already. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> Look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Norman D. Poor guy. <laughs> I'm glad Thanks these deputies you, ended up on the side of good. Thanks for your help, John. <laughs> yeah. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Are you kidding me? Grapist was really a joke? What? From another... From a comedy group? Are you fucking kidding me? Whoa. Simpsons did it. You really can't come up with anything original anymore. Eh, why even try? That's why I just sit here in silence. It's really old? <laughs> well, fuck you, it's new again. Because <laughs> I just invented it. It's not even a good joke. I chose Grapus because it's the stupidest sounding thing I could come up with. Alright. Aww. Sorry, horsey. Well. Yep. Oh, what were you eating? Horse food. Oh, he's naked. It certainly does take a lot of time. That's okay. Alright guys, so that's all for today. Come on. We got a decent amount accomplished. Yeah, you feel like it looks better than I even remember. I was actually a little bit worried. It does have just moderate amounts of shiny. You'll see it on Marston's clothes. Yeah. There. Yeah. Like his his, his outfit has and yeah. the horses I think have a bit of it added to them. On the PlayStation 3 version, you get lots of grass in the field. That's why I wanted it, like I was saying at the beginning, guys. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't want her to be sad. Oh, man, now oh, that was now sad. the baby. And the bird. Shit. Where's the bird? I don't want that bird to be sad. I'm sorry, but you're must. There's another bird there. Um, Still the best horse riding to this day, in your opinion? It really is. It feels so good. And I compare everything to it ever since I played it. It just feels natural, and it looks natural. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad it didn't disappoint you. Ah, here we are. Me too. Uh, but yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Like, it looks great. It held up well. Uh, this is a mess. We put no witness. Yeah, Witcher 3's horse riding felt a little bit janky sometimes, for sure. I think collecting horses gets you money if you break more horses. Oh, yeah? The font used in Red Dead's logo is called Chinese Rocks, and it's actually a free font. Yeah, I found that. I remember finding that out. Weird. So much of a uh, of a this type of game is just surfing around, mm -hmm. hunt, and Red Dead gave you a lot of opportunity because you could hunt. Yeah. It's such a plentiful... Well, you know what? The Old West actually probably wasn't too much different from this. Yeah, really. Because humans hadn't encroached yet, so wildlife were just everywhere. Well, humans had the natives were there. Sure, but... They used what they needed, basically. 
Meanwhile, <laughs> the white man made buffalo skull piles. Yeah. Just so they could climb them for fun. <laughs> we saw this picture of like, I don't know where we saw it, but it was like just a pile of buffalo skulls that looked like a mountain. It was just disgusting. Was it on here? Was it on the show that was we looked at that? Was it on Call of Duty? I thought it was on a documentary we were watching. Yeah, I can't, I can't. Yeah, it was on that Japanese thing. That was showing Alberta. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we were watching Japanese TV and they were doing a like expose, I guess, on, on Alberta. I should not have gotten off my horse. Damn dogs! Leave my horse alone. Yeah, damn dogs. It's the survivalist stuff that really takes time. You can just yeah. go around doing this forever. I do hope they sped up skinning animation in the next, uh... Still. <laughs> in the next game, because this was always kind of boring watching him skin like animals over and over again. Mm, yeah, it takes forever. Miss Babel almost got to volunteer at a buffalo sanctuary, but she had to miss the opportunity. Sadly, that would have been interesting. Buffalo are pretty cool looking. Mm. Sharpshooter rank up. So what'd that do for me? Fame went up. Is that it? Do you have to do all three things, like the sharpshooter, the skinning of coyotes, plus that one other thing, collecting the the wildflowers to get an actual reward for your character? They're separate. So the bonuses come right away? Derpy. PlayStation Home Avatar is unlocked. Please don't distract me with that bullshit. <laughs> kind of not the type of thing I want to hear when I'm playing Red Dead. PlayStation Home Avatar unlocked. Do you think people still use PlayStation Home? I don't know, man. The only thing better was if he was in T-pose for that. Is it shut down? It got shut down? Huh. It's like a virtual like hangout place and like people would just kind of like Second Life. Mm, yeah. Whoops. PlayStation Home is lonelier than Red Dead. All right, we got to wrap this up. There's little things to shoot everywhere though. Yeah, there's a bunny. I do like how the cactus looks. Best. You know what I'd like, though, is for hunting to get a bit more engaging, like in this, if you just, like, I mean, shooting in general. Here. You just aim and it locks on, kind of, and it follows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as long as you were kind of accurate the first time that you pressed it. I think it would be cool if, like, when hunting, you do the initial lock on like that, but then it zooms in closer and you have to do, like, almost like a mini game, like a, a, an adjustment to get mm -hmm. the shot. Something that just makes it a bit more than just like find the animal, shoot the animal. Yeah. Move on. I don't think cactus can hurt you in this game, right? Looking for some company, friend? Aw, oh, bunny. He'll live another day. So if you if you play like evil, these guys are like prime opportunity to like rob, I think. To hear about some foolishness, I heard something so dumb you wouldn't credit a man capable. This fella turns up on the train. What's he here for? Why, nothing less than to kill Bill Williamson. I cannot believe it. So, what does he do? He rides out to that fort all on his lonesome and starts yelling out. It ended pretty much as you'd expect, except that he survived. Young Bonnie helped him out. Some fool, though. Is it true? 
I do What's not past is past. remember this. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it I don't think I ever did this. So presumably throughout the game, you'll hear them just like... They'll Tell change tales the, of yours. Yeah, of your exploits. It's like the equivalent of listening to the radio of like, you know, news coverage. Huh. I never listened to these things. Interesting. Neither did I. Huh. Good story, Harry the Hat. That's some story. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> I think it's possible I just always killed these guys. <laughs> Instead of listening to their stories. There's a lot of little things like this in the game. Man, can you just oh, imagine what Red Dead 2 is going to be like? Yeah. They're going to take what they did in this and just take it to the next level. Like. Yeah, this story's changed over time. That is or, awesome. Like over the game. That's really pretty in the background. That's one. You know, it's just, it's so, like, um, busy work, just, like, going around collecting things like that, but mm -hmm. as I was saying, I think on Assassin's Creed, I can do busy work if I really love the place I'm in. Yeah. And I can just soak it in, just, and I, I think there was a, what the fuck? It's fine, don't, don't bother. It's just robbing a guy, it's cool. It's not even a mission, he just happened upon a dead body and... Yeah. Um... Well, we're, like, there was a game that, like, people were like, I just like to shut... Maybe it was No Man's Sky in the original, the, the, before people really knew how bad it was. People mm -hmm. were trying to defend it when I first played it, saying that they just wanted to hang out here. Right. I can understand that when the place, when the environment appeals to you. Yeah. Because I remember, I think that's why Red Dead had such an effect on me. I just, and Black Flag, I just hung out in it. Yeah. I just spent tons of time just kind of like soaking in the silence and the atmosphere. Mm. Doing busy work. Yeah. Getting the little Kind of like how I am with, uh... Hey! Zelda. He's, he's fixed. Yeah! Hey, Uncle. <laughs> I guess I'll go up to my room that I bought and have a, a sleep to end the episode. I feel like things have changed in this game. I do not remember so many of these top hats, nor do I remember these places being so populated. Oh, I feel yeah? like there's like, I just give it like an extra couple of guys per scene. It feels like it's a bit more dudes hanging around places than I remember. This would be a terrible place to sleep. Yeah, right? <laughs> Between the sex and the pianos. Unless you're into this type of environment. Yeah, maybe. Some people like it, like how we like to have a fan. Yeah. That's what they're used to. Yeah. It's home, homey. Um, yeah, do you guys feel like it changed in any way after the patches, like over time? Because it really does feel a bit... Maybe I'm wrong, though. Just thinking back on the highlight clips of Blackwater where I did Diplomatic Immunity, it feels like it was really, really sparse. <laughs> and I feel like there's just more people. Even though it's still not a lot of people. Yeah. But anyways. I'm having trouble ending the show because I just love to just sit here and do this. Yeah. Did you purchase the regular or deluxe edited edition? I do not know. I just purchased whatever was available. I played it a lot, but I don't notice the changes you're talking about. Um, I mean, I think I bought the bundled edition because it said Undead Nightmare in the... I didn't buy the DLC specifically, and it said Undead Nightmare in the menu when I went to start a new game. So uh. it might be the game of the year version. It was whatever comes up first when you're searching in the uh, in the PlayStation Store. It's the only version you can get digitally. Mm. So I suppose maybe it's a good thing that I bought the newest edition. 
instead of using my old copy. Nighttime has more people in the saloons. Mm. So maybe that's, maybe you always went during the day. It's an incredible game and I'm glad it held up to time. I think that it really did hold up well and uh, if you haven't played it, I would go out right now before the next one comes out and before I start playing ahead on this show if you wanted to watch me mm. and start playing it on your own. But the real, um, looking back on this game and Black Flag, two games that I loved so much and played both off show, this being one of the first games that we played on show and then I proceeded to play off show, and Black Flag being one of the last games I ever played off show before I decided that I should never play a game off show. Mm -hmm. Um, the two of them, I don't think it's a coincidence that I loved so, both of them so much, and I feel like I kind of like miss out on some games yep. playing them with an audience because you just you can't really lose yourself until uh -huh. you've you know it makes me wonder as much as I love Dragon Age if I would have like been over the moon for it if I'd played it on my own, yeah, and also when you're playing on the show, it feels like. You kind of have to progress things. True. That's true, too. Because it feels like every episode has to have Sorry. a point. You know? Yeah. Like, you have to have at least a mission. Even if you're... Like, like if I'm going to do a hunting episode or something like that, I would want to make sure that it could be contained yeah, as a package. Yeah, but it's nice to organically just kind of be like, maybe I'm going to go to Sarsaparilla next. And then yeah. you actually just end up, like, hunting and listening to conversations the whole time mm -hmm. because that's organically where the game had taken you but I mean it's a trade off you make mm -hmm. it's but you would have loved Epic Mickey too if you played it on your own <laughs> <laughs> but it's something to keep in mind when you watch the stream like streamers or watch us is like that we have no choice but to enjoy a game on a different level than you mm -hmm. um, you can't really like have your cake and eat it too <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you just can't have your cake and eat it too, it feels like. Yeah. And, you know, there's pluses and negatives. On one hand, I never feel alone when I'm gaming, which is nice. I always feel like I'm hanging On out with hand, people. On the other hand, you never feel alone. Exactly. So. Is that actually exactly what you're going to say? Exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today, though. We'll be back to play this again. Definitely, we're going to complete it before Red Dead 2 comes out. You can be assured of that. And I'm going to be here for all of it. Becky wants to see the whole story. Alright guys, see you next time on Video Games Awesome Live.